Hey everybody, this is video number 92, coming at you. I was just thinking about this, uh, this whole life path, specifically in relation to life purpose, or even at a smaller level, uh, passions that we pursue, uh, or that we envelop ourselves in, immerse ourselves in, uh, career, our career paths, it's so interesting to follow along on the journey while experiencing it. We're obviously directly in it, a part of it. We are it. It's too easy to take a look at it and say, I'm not in the right place. I don't. I'm not doing what I want to be doing. This isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. And I think that there's some... Tr there can be some truth to that, but there's also a, a, a falsity in that, in that I, I truly believe that we are creators of our own lives. And there are many external circumstances which can make our exploration, our our discoveries, our journey of it, um, the active stance that we take in the creation, it can make it more difficult. Sometimes the circumstances can be fewer and it can be a lot easier to move forward in the exact direction that we want to go. But it's hard to even define that exact direction. We all go through many different phases of wanting to be this or that. Uh, there might be a few of us out there, a few out there who... Uh, just decide on one thing, and that's what you've been doing all throughout. And uh, bravo, if you still love doing that, then keep doing it. Especially if you're uh, you know, doing good for yourself and for others. But a lot of us want some variety. You know, when I take a look at my life, there is something about stability. Um, some I, I feel like I've always taken a safe route. And as of late, I seem to be moving more in the direction of something new, unknown. Uh, Tony Robbins talks about the, uh, the six uh, human needs, six basic human needs, and they're not basic. I'm well, no, they are basic. They're both ba basic and advanced at the same time. Let's see if I can remember them. Uh, Tony, I apologize if I do you any wrong. Um, but it's, uh, there's uh, certainty. There is significance. There's variety or uncertainty. And there's love and connection. And those are the main four. And then the other two are uh, contribution and growth. We can find so many different ways to fulfill these needs, both in the positive realm and in the negative realm. I highly recommend you uh, check out Tony's audios, his what he's written, his books. Um, go to his website, TonyRobbins.com or AnthonyRobbins.com and check it out. But he talks a lot about the six human needs. Certainty, uh, uncertainty, or variety. Um, significance, love and connection, contribution, growth. And uh, I remember when I was really into Tony and I uh, went to his Unleash the Power Within and, you know, the, using these needs, you can really see where you're at and where you need to maybe change some things or what's really going well. Um, and it's this whole idea of, you know, what would you like to be the needs? That, what, what needs do you feel like are most important? But then also, what are the needs that you feel like are actually guiding you? And when I say guiding you, sometimes they might be the ones that are uh, in, uh, unconsciously leading you. Now, if I were to choose two of the most important ones, I would say love and connection and growth. And the other ones, I mean, I, they're, they're, it's, a tough, it's a tough decision, uh, but those two mean a lot to me. Now, if I were to ask, if you were to ask me you know, which ones do you think are leading you, it might be certainty. And I feel like I, I could say love and connection or contribution. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not positive on it. Um, but I've always, I've always wanted to make sure that things were safe, secure, certain. And now I'm more in a place of seeing what's next and going into the unknown. I'm not sure if you experience this, 
but that you know leads me back to this whole life journey, career journey, this idea of these stepping stones. Um, I went to school for acting. I would say that's the first step into what I was pursuing, uh, what I wanted to do as a career, acting. And as of right now, I'm not doing much of it. I still love it, and it's still a big part of my life. And I don't know if I will return to it or not. Um, after the acting, I went specifically into the nutrition and life coaching, and I'm doing a little bit of that. But that's led me to Reiki, the energy healing. And that's the primary focus right now. Now, all of them can be wrapped together in one beautiful ball because that's me. And that's what it's all about with all of us. It's what each of us brings to the table, to this huge universal table. So we don't necessarily have to pick and choose or narrow it down. We can just roll it all up into one and say, well, this is my unique contribution. This is what I love. And I know that I'm going to define that even more, or there'll be a new stepping stone, and all of these will just be leading me to the next one. It's that idea of saying, okay, I am here for a reason. I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay, I really enjoy doing this. I, I love it, so let's go with it, and we'll see where it leads me. Now, if what you're doing right now, you're miserable, then it's a stepping stone that's there to teach you a lesson, and that's going to involve more work on your part to break out of it, move away from it, lean away from it so that you can make space to see, well, what's next? What's supposed to be in my life? Because if you're doing something that you hate, it's not supposed to be there. Um, it's either supposed to be there temporarily to teach you something, or you've given up your control. And we can always take our control back. I'm not positive uh, where exactly I am in this whole life and career journey, in this life's purpose. Uh, I love the work I do. I enjoy helping others, and I I'm really enjoying this exploration. It's helping me explore myself, too. Uh, lately, I've been missing the uh, performance side of things, acting. And I'm wondering, you know, I'm wondering what's next? Whether it's an enhancement of what's already here, or if this brings me back around, whoops me around, I don't know. I'm ready for anything. And I hope you can take a look at your situation and say, I'm ready for anything too. And if what is here right now does not serve me well and does not serve others well either, then it's time to make an active change so that I can make, um, and then make yourself ready for the next thing. Then go for it. And we'll all, we'll all go through all of our stones, continuing to grow and grow and grow and grow. I think they're infinite stones, by the way. I don't know. Maybe, you know, we'll get to the whatever age and be like, oh, okay, I'm done. That's it. But uh, at least where I am right now, it's more and more and more. I'm very grateful for the abundance that's in my life right now. But uh, excited for the rest of the abundance that's out there. Okay, video number 92. Thanks for watching. On the way to 100. Bye-bye.